Hi everyone, welcome to BISP Trainings. My name is Faiza Alam. In today's session, we'll be taking up the inventory management uh, item pricing. So, uh, as uh, before uh, managing inventory, we are required to create an item record first. So, we are done with that. Uh, and, to, and in today's session, I'll be telling you about the item pricing, like uh, how can we uh, create the pricing levels and how can we uh, uh, sign these uh, pricing levels to our customers. So uh, NetSuite has the facility in which we can use and set up uh, different prices. Uh, uh, we can set up different price level for each items. Uh, like, you know, uh, there are uh, various scenarios in which uh, we want to sell items to our wholesale uh, customer at uh, different price uh, and the other, and at other point of time, uh, we can have the different uh, uh, price level for our uh, retail customer so we can you know uh, with the help of this option we can create a sales price level for our wholesale customers and uh, a different uh, price level for our retail customers along with that we also have the facility uh, of uh, um, uh, this is about the multiple pricing along with it. Uh, we have the facility of quantity pricing also. Then we have the group pricing. So we'll be taking up that. So in order to uh, create a, a, a various price level in the NetSuite application, we have to go into setup, accounting and accounting list. So in the NetSuite application, we can set up a thousand pricing levels. Uh, we can create a thousand pricing levels. So we can see that under the accounting list, these are the various uh, price levels that have been created so far. So if I want to cre uh, create a new one, I can click on new. So here I have to mention the price level name. and uh, this uh, markup and uh, discount. So, you know, markups are the additional charges that are used uh, for the uh, item. And uh, usually the markups are shown with the positive values and the discounts are shown with the negative values. So as uh, I am taking here the markup uh, price, so I will uh, take here 20%. And uh, if I check this box, so, uh, I want to if you want to update the existing prices so we can uh, do it from here we can check this box so this is the price level that is marked up price level for 20 percent markup so if i put here my minus or a negative value, so then it will be for discount so right now i have created it for the markup and i will click on save So if I get into the list, so here you can see that this is the price level that I have created that is marked the price level. So I have created my price level. The other way of uh, uh, schedule of, uh, you know, setting up prices in NetSuite is the quantity uh, pricing schedule. So for that we have to, uh, we can go into the list accounting and here we have the quantity price schedule. So here you can see that these are the quantity uh, pricing schedules that have been created and this is the one that I have created. If I click on it, this is quantity pricing schedule A. So you know here uh, a quantity uh, based uh, uh, rule is followed uh, which uh, you know and uh, we can have the clarity of it. Like the more uh, quantity uh, we will order, the amount gets lesser accordingly. So you can see that these uh, this is the uh, setting like for quantity uh, for uh, 20 items. So the base price would be 120 and for 50, for 50 units, we can have the uh, amount or a price level of 110. So as you can see in the uh, over here, as the quantity is getting increased, the prices are getting decreased. So here a pricing tier uh, module is followed. So in this manner, we can uh, set a quantity pricing, uh, we, sorry, we can set the pricing based on the quantity also. 
so we have uh, you know created a pricing level and uh, we have also seen how uh, pricing can be scheduled according to the quantity now uh, we will uh, assign the quantity to uh, for an item so for that we will go into the list accounting and i so as i have uh, you know uh, set the pricing level and then i have assigned the pricing based on the quantity i will be uh, uh, associating this uh, uh, pricing to my uh, to the item so for that we i will be taking this processor 005 i will click on edit so this is the processor 005 in order to uh, set pricing for this uh, item i will be clicking on sales in pricing so under the sales in pricing we can mention the prices here uh, this is about the marginal rates if we are using the marginal rate so we can check this box if we want to calculate the quantity discount so we have these options like for line quantity for overall item quantity for overall parent quantity schedule quantity so we can take it along with that we have the option of pricing uh, pricing group uh, you know it enables us to assign the customer specific pricing level for a group of items so these are the pricing groups that have been created we can uh, select if we want to if we go down here so here we have to mention the uh, price levels you can see that the price levels that uh, have been created under the account accounting list are here this is the marked up price level for 20 percent so here uh, you know various uh, kinds of prices are used base prices here you the above price that is shown is the base price and on and an online price is shown over here so here we have to mention the price like for quantity 0 to 10 uh, we can mention the base price as 120 and you can see that based on the base price uh, the pricing and according to the price levels the the prices has been populated accordingly if i take here quantity 20 and if i mention here the base price of 110 so the rest of the prices have been uh, taken up by the system accordingly in this manner if i mention here the uh, quantity for 50 and mention price uh, base price as 100 so the prices has been taken up accordingly so in this manner uh, we can see that the uh, prices are you know uh, all, all automatically be in calculated as per the pricing levels and it can be taken up if we mention the uh, quantity of it so it can be taken up accordingly after doing this we can click on save in order to save this pricing level to this item so if we get into the sales and pricing here we can see that the uh, pricings have been scheduled uh, as per the price level and as per the quantity also so like if i want to add this uh, any any of the price level to our customer so whenever any transaction happens with the customer so this price level automatically be uh, populated with that so in this case if i take here this lazen inclusive i cl click on edit in order to assign the pricing level to it So under the financial sub tab, we can mention the price level in the, over here. Like I want to assign this Larsen inclusive the price level that I have created that is marked the price level. Now whenever any uh, sales order or any transaction uh, takes place with this Larsen inclusive, the price level will be automatically uh, populated that, that is for marked the price level and I will click on save. now the price level has been added to the this uh, 1079 La larson inclusive so that price level will be used uh, with that with this customer so here we can uh, here we have seen how can we uh, create the various price levels uh, how can we uh, 
create price level based on the quantity and furthermore how can we uh, assign the price levels to the customer so whenever uh, any uh, transaction happens to them so the price level populates accordingly so that's all uh, from my side in case of any questions and consultations you can write to us at www.bispsolutions.com thank you